What do you mean by an IGBT? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome back to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term IGBT? Well, let's find out. So here, IGBT is the abbreviation given for Insulated Gate Bipolar Junction Transistor. So this stands for I for insulated, G for gate and BT stands for bipolar junction transistor. So IGBT that is insulated gate bipolar transistor that is what IGBT stands for. So from this that is the expansion of IGBT what we have to deduce is the fact that this has got an insulated gate that is this is a type of a bipolar transistor which has got an insulated gate. So therefore let's draw the symbol of a particular IGBT. So we know that the symbol of a transistor is somewhat like this. Okay. So here in the case of an IGBT it has got three terminals an emitter, a collector and a gate. Okay. So here this is the gate portion but as the name suggests the gate must be insulated so therefore for the purpose of providing insulation to the gate a particular capacitance is placed over here like this so therefore this is the gate this is the collector and this is the emitter so this thus is the basic symbol of what you refer to as an IGBT or an insulated gate bipolar transistor as simple as that so this is a symbol of an IGBT where the gate is insulated with the help of this particular capacitance or a capacitor so now let us see the working of an IGBT so for the working of IGBT let's construct a circuit for the purpose of seeing the working of this particular IGBT so I'm marking the gate with G the collector with C and the emitter with E. So therefore this does is the gate, the collector and the emitter of this particular IGBT. So here let us connect it to some kind of a resistance say RG. And let this be connected to a particular voltage say VG. And let this circuit be completed like this. Okay. So this forms a particular loop. Now let the collector be connected to a particular resistance R. And let this collector be connected to the positive terminal of VCC of this particular circuit like this. This is VCC. So therefore the collector is connected to the positive terminal of VCC. And therefore this circuit is completed like this. So therefore this is VGE. And this particular current that flows here is IG. So therefore this current IG is the input current towards this particular IGBT. And this particular voltage that is VGE, this is the input voltage of this particular IGBT. So now the current flowing through this particular resistance is like this which is IC. And this particular voltage over here is VCE that is a voltage across the collector and the emitter. So this circuit therefore shows us the basic working of an IGBT that is connected to a voltage source VG as well as connected to VCC. So here in this particular diagram when this particular voltage VG when this voltage is increased we see an increase in this particular current IG as well as this particular voltage VGE that is as this particular voltage VG is increased the current value that is the input current value also increases and also the input voltage value which is VGE that voltage also increases. And therefore as this particular voltage VG as this input voltage increases this current value IC will also increase and therefore this VCE will decrease that is what we observe in this particular configuration of an IGBT. So now let us plot the transfer characteristics and the output characteristics or the steady state characteristics of this particular IGBT. So the transfer characteristics is plotted between the output current and the input voltage. So here the output current is IC and the input voltage is VGE. 
whereas the steady state characteristics or the output characteristics is plotted between the output voltage and the output current keeping this particular voltage a constant so keeping this input voltage a constant the steady state characteristics or the output characteristics is plotted between this particular value ic and vce so let's plot these two characteristics of an igpt let's do it first let us plot the transfer characteristics so the transfer characteristics of an igbt it is plotted between the output current and the input voltage that is it is plotted between ic and vge so therefore plotting the characteristics and taking ic at the y axis and vge along the x axis what we observe is that as the voltage value increases initially there is no increase in current but after a particular value we see that as vg increases the current also increases like this and this particular value over here is a particular threshold value that is when the voltage is increased beyond this threshold value the current starts flowing through this particular igbt and this particular threshold voltage is referred to as gate emitter threshold voltage gate emitter threshold voltage so therefore as the voltage increases beyond this particular gate emitter threshold voltage we see that the current also starts flowing like this so this therefore is the transfer characteristics of a particular igbt or an insulated gate bipolar transistor next let us see the output characteristics or the steady state characteristics of a particular igbt so the steady state characteristics or the output characteristics is plotted between the output current and the output voltage so here the output current is ic and the output voltage is vce so here let us plot this particular steady state characteristics like this and let us take ic along the y axis and let us take vce along the x axis so here the value of vge or the input voltage is kept as a constant so let us assume the first scenario where vge is equal to 0 so when vge is equal to 0 as vce increases no significant amount of current flows there is only a certain minority current is observed like this okay only a certain minority current and this minority current is happening due to minority charge carriers that are present over here and after a particular value saturation is obtained like this so therefore let us assume that this is the case for vge is equal to 0 so now let us take another case where we take say vge is equal to 1 so if vge is equal to 1 an actual flow in current is observed like this and when it reaches here saturation happens and it goes like this this is say vge is equal to 1 so therefore let us take vg is equal to 2 the same thing happens like this that is for vge is equal to 2 let us take say vg is equal to 3 the same thing happens like this and therefore this continues till a lot of values for vge so therefore this thus is a steady state characteristics or the output characteristics of a particular igbt So here as no current flows this is referred to as the cut off region of this particular igbt and in this region as saturation happens this is referred to as the saturation region and this region therefore is referred to as the active region so this does therefore is a steady state characteristics or the output characteristics of a particular igbt So in this video we saw what a particular IGBT is and thus we constructed the symbol of an IGBT and we also saw the working of an IGBT along with a particular circuit diagram then we saw the transfer characteristics of an IGBT and then after that we saw the steady state characteristics or the output characteristics of an IGBT so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as an IGBT and we are done with module 1 of power electronics so in the next video i'll be starting with module 2 of power electronics and instrumentation so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as igbt and we'll be discussing further more in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you